connect the leak tester to the vent by aligning the pin in the leak tester connector with the groove on the vent, pushing down and rotating the leak tester connector clockwise one quarter turn. Pump the hand bulb of the leak tester until the needle is within 140 to 180 mmHg or the green gauge area. Do not exceed 180 mmHg. Observe the needle for 10 seconds. If the needle drops, the leak tester connection to the endoscope may be loose. Repeat procedure to verify. If the needle drops again, the endoscope may have a damaged seal and should not be immersed in any liquid. Do not continue to use the endoscope. Please contact Optum LLC's service center to arrange for evaluation and or repair. If the needle stays in place, immerse the entire endoscope in water. Observe the endoscope for 30 seconds. Articulate the distal bending section up and down during this period. A steady stream of air bubbles indicates a leak in the endoscope. Remove the scope immediately from the water while the scope is still pressurized. Air escaping the endoscope at the leak site will have prevented fluid invasion. Absence of a steady stream of air bubbles confirms that the endoscope is watertight. Remove the endoscope from the water and disconnect the leak tester from the endoscope. It is now safe to immerse the endoscope in solution.